Hi, I'm Nigel from Mad About Animals. Probably one of the most difficult things about being vegan is being constantly stuck on a desert island. Well, that's what meat eaters would have you believe anyway. What vegan hasn't been asked the age old question, what if you were stuck on a desert island and all that was there to eat was a pig? Would you kill and eat that pig? Lots of people try and go down there, well, what has the pig been eating? How has the pig survived? And all that sort of thing. But um, someone asking the question in a clever way would say the pig was on the ship with you and the pig was shipwrecked at the same time. So it really is a desert island and there literally is just you and the pig. Would you kill and eat the pig? In questions like this, I often try and take out the animal and put in a human. So I quite often turn that question around and say to the questioner, what if it was you and I who were stuck on a desert island? We were shipwrecked and there were literally was just you and me. Would I kill and eat you? Well, the answer is yes. Yeah, I would. I'd kill and eat you. To me, my life is more important than your life. Life and death situation, I would kill and eat you. Which throws people sometimes. They're like, oh, you're a vegan. Yeah, life and death, don't care going to kill and eat you. It's a life and death situation. But often I don't go there. More often than not, I'll turn the question round on them in a different way and I'll say, okay, rather than asking me what I would do if I was stuck on a desert island, let me ask you what you would do if you were in a country where fruit and vegetables and grains and nuts and pulses and all those sorts of things were readily available in almost every single shop and you could walk into any shop and buy all these cruelty free products that didn't involve any pain, harm and suffering to any living sentient creature and you could live on them very, very healthily and very, very happily. Why wouldn't you do that? Why would you deliberately choose some form of animal product which caused pain, harm and suffering to the animal when you categorically didn't need to do that, where you could choose to live a life where you ate things that did not cause any pain, harm and suffering, fruits, vegetables, that sort of thing. Why would you choose deliberately to go out of your way to cause pain, harm and suffering? Turn it round on them, turn it round on them. Because you know what? You do live in a country where you can walk into any shop and buy all those things and you do not have to cause pain, harm and suffering to another living sentient creature and yet you deliberately choose to cause pain, harm and suffering. Why am I vegan again? I've been Nigel from Mad About Animals. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all again next time. Thank you.